Hey everyone, episode three of uh, my entry to the Great Guitar Build Off 2023 Scratch Build. So last episode, I glued up the two body parts, these here, um, and I cut and slotted the fretboard. So this episode, I think, definitely unclamping that in a minute. Um, and then I'm going to um, just cut some little bits for it to go onto the side as little wings so I can, uh, well, draw the entire body onto it so it fits. And then I'm going to cut out from this big chunk of Sapila here, the neck blank and well, we'll see where we get to from there. I don't know if really, do I need to film me just cutting wood again? It's going to look pretty much the same as the, the last video. So um, I'll film it, I'll cut it, but I might not use it in the uh, the final episode thing. Um, just depends how far I get because I might want to do a little bit of routing or a little bit of marking out or something. So we'll see. But today definitely is going to be um, unclamping, cutting wings, and then reclamping and, and gluing. And then we'll see where we get to. Okay, so uh, we're gonna unclamp the two body bits together. So it's definitely dry because it's been about four days clamped up. So, you know, it is dry. Um, but let's just start unclamping. Well, that one's off. That one, and then this middle one. There we go. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Bit of scraping, bit of planing, sanding and all of that. Yeah, nice and straight. Like it. So, you could make a small guitar body out of that. But I need to do this and grab it. So I need to get this body on there. Okay, and at the moment, as it stands, it's just, just on either side. See the side sticking out there? And that bit, it just needs a little bit gluing on here and here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glue some wings on it and then let, let that dry overnight. Um, because I'll probably be back in the workshop again tomorrow, I think. Maybe. But um, let's do that. So what I need to do is... Let's just grab the camera here. So what I need to do is... There we go. Is just get this on its centre line here. The benefit for me, and if you're ever doing one yourself, of gluing two pieces of wood together to make a body is that you get a perfect centre line. And this line down my template here is the center line of the guitar. So if I just line this up on the center line there and there, a bit difficult one handed, but there we go. Um, that now is banging the center of that wood, meaning I need just a little bit on either side, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to mark it, I'm going to cut it, um, then I'm going to glue it on, I'm going to clamp it. So let's do that. Just a close up there of uh, the overhang on the wood so you can see what I need to cut. Um, again there, you can just see it overhanging on both sides. And then all you need to do is just uh, measure where the wings go and cut it out, simple as. So I've just been on the bandsaw and I've just put a line up here. That's right up the center of this. I'm just going to cut across here, so then I get my two little wings here. And for that, I'm going to use the pull saw because it's awesome. Two wings, 
Let's get him on the guitar. Okay. Just trying to best match up the grain here. That one looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's pretty good. And that one. Yeah, I think once that's glued, it's going to be almost invisible. I'm going to glue it up. So the wings are in place. Um, not glued there. Just need to get a little bit of glue on them. As you can see there. Get the glue on. Slide it into place. Clamp it up. And uh, you're good, really. Good to go. So there you go, the wings are on. That can dry overnight, no problem. Um, and then, once that's dry, draw the body out, start routing it and cutting it and all sorts of uh, really exciting stuff. Next job is making a neck blank. So that's the general neck size that I'm going for. Obviously with... Uh, that headstock so I'm gonna mark it out cut it out see how we get on it's really hot in here today so I might not be in this shed um, much longer as I'm already dripping in sweat so I'm just kind of marking out I want to try and maximize this material here maximize this wood because I want to use it for another build later on and this is the neck template for that build later on but I'll get rid of that because that's not what I'm doing right now. So I'm thinking something like this. So I'm gonna make a mark there, which I have done. So I've got a little mark there. I'm gonna put my uh, thingy on. That's a difficult one, isn't it? Make a mark there, and then I've got a mark here. So my plan is to basically cut out this section here for a neck blank and use that and then i'll have a big chunk of wood here for another project later on so uh i'm gonna mark it up get on the bandsaw and uh we'll take it from there and we'll see see how far i get because it is super hot in here i can't believe how hot it is in this room today so it's marked up, you just about see it. Well, you can definitely see that line, and I'm going to here. I'm going to cut it down there, and that'll be a neck blank. Close up shot of the grain and the center line right down the middle. Okay, so far so good. So just straight off the bandsaw. Um, obviously it's, it's way too thick at the moment. We're just kind of going off sizes here for uh, the main part of the, the neck. So I'm gonna have a center line down this, which brings me just about right there. But here it's overhanging, which is fine because I, I'm not using this headstock. I'm using 
that headstock there which will just just about fit i will have to put a little bit of a, a piece on there but i've got an idea for that that i might do um instead of just using the sapili but we'll see I, I say that a lot we'll see it's because i'm uh, basically winging it but i'm happy with that cut i'm gonna start uh, just trimming it down to the correct thickness and stuff now bit more marking um so it's this side here that i want it's 25 mil so i'm going to cut that down again on the bandsaw what would i do without a bandsaw eh wow more bandsaw um last time today i think pretty good really good actually that saw is cutting amazing benefits of a new blade I guess well there's my neck blank so uh, that's pretty good and then I've got a nice off cut here as well for something and that's the completed neck blank there and as you can see it is pretty much perfectly quarter sawn radio so um i've marked a line down there so this isn't this is the center line for the neck but it's not the center line to this piece of wood um i didn't really need to do that to be honest i'm kind of just working off a line there and a line there which means that bit there is going to be cutting and fine and then here possibly a little bit glued on but this headstock here doesn't come down as much, so um, we'll be okay. But I'm just going to mark out, basically, um, the whole neck, including the truss rod. So here's my truss rod, um, standard two-way truss rod, and it's going to go this way. So the uh, truss rod adjustment is going to be up here at the kind of headstock end. Um... I'm going to start marking things out now. Okay, quick bit of marking out. So, um, let's go up here. So, this is the headstock end here. So, we've got um, the nut marked out. Got where I want my truss rod to finish, pretty much. I mean, that's where the channel's going to finish. There will be a little bit of carving out on that, but that's pretty much where that's going to finish. Um, truss rod end here and 12th fret. Um, so my next job, I think, really, is I'm going to do the truss rod channel. Because I like a bit of routing, so we're going to do that. So I have used the uh, masking tape and super glue method to secure the board down to this piece of MDF that I've screwed to my bench. So that's solid, and that's going to be for the router. So we're going to route the truss rod channel. <laughs> Rightio. So we got away with it. Um, just see, just there is where. The bit came loose and it just sort of jumped over like half a mil so i was so lucky so lucky that could have just really really completely knackered the thing up um but there's a truss rod channel what i need to do now is just widen this end here a little bit just so it will take that bit but you know what it's so hot in here that i am going to do that tomorrow because I've had enough. I've been in here maybe an hour and I've really sort of 
had enough of this heat so i'm going to go and get a nice cold drink and uh, go and relax for the rest of the day hey guys so it's another day um it just got too hot yesterday in here and it's still pretty warm in here now um but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna unclamp that there um maybe draw the body out on it we'll see um and i'm gonna get this truss rod to fit in the neck the neck blank and then draw the neck out maybe cut it out there's a few things i can do um but it is really warm um i love having this this workshop in my shed absolutely love it but when it gets to summer when it starts getting hot which is getting hot now it becomes a sauna um and it is hell <laughs> and it's getting that way so it's getting very very warm at the minute but i will carry on um and i will get some ways into uh the build i will get a little bit further along today um so let's just crack on i guess let's get going so what i'm doing um i'm just widening this this little slot here so truss rod slots okay but then the way the truss rods are they sort of flare out at one end and they just sit a little bit deeper in the slot so i'm just gonna chisel the end out here so that that fits in and everything stays flush just a little bit of relaxing chiseling now, I think. So we've done a little bit of carving, let's just see how this thing uh, fits in. So a little bit proud at this end here, just a little tiny bit. So I'll do a little bit more carving um, and it should be absolutely right. Everywhere else is flush. So it pushes down but springs back up because that there is a little bit proud, so I am going to uh, sort that out. Okay, so a um, little bit of chiselling and the truss rod is in. I'm happy with that, so get that out. Take this off here. There we go. So now, I think I'll probably draw up the neck, or the body, or both, but I'm happy with that, that's alright. So I've decided to draw the neck out, so I've got my neck blank here, um, got the neck template, which I'm going off, and I've got my headstock template as well. So, it's just a case of lining up centre lines and drawing it, really. So, uh, here we go. Centre line there. Happy with. Happy with that. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of tape on this because uh, I don't want it to move. Like that. A little bit more tape. That'll do, that'll do. So let's draw it. Oh, my God. 
kind of lines up exactly where I want it to line up. It should do. No reason why this thing shouldn't. And yes, I do need a little wing on here for this overhang. Thought I might get away with it because it's slightly smaller than a regular Telecaster type headstock but it's still got an overhang so I'll need to glue a piece of wood or something to that that's all right and you can't really see that I don't think but it does have the drawing on there now but I really don't think you can see it So I'm just making a little wing here um, for this side of the, the neck and my next door neighbour has just started to cut his grass so that's what you can hear. It's not me with a, a fancy machine, it's my next door neighbour with his lawnmower. Okay so I've got my off cut here which is the same thickness as my neck blank. I think that grain will be fine. I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of sanding just to make it have a really nice tight joint there so you can't really see it. Um, I'm going to trim this down. I don't need all of that at all. I just need a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go on and do that. Radio. A little bit of glue in. Bit of clamping. And that can wait until another day for me to finish. But what I've done, I have sanded up these perfectly, beautifully smooth and square and flush. And these here, so I get a really good join when I glue these together. And just looking at it, not glued, the join is nice. So gluing it up, it's gonna be nice. Okay, glue on. Best tool for the job for spreading it. Finger, of course. Nice. Okay, let's get this on. Go with this clump first, I think. And then we'll stick these on. You can never have too many clamps. Okay. Radio. 
that's definitely clamped. It's nice and flush. That'll dry nice and then I can continue with that another day. Okay, unclamping now. So this is the body blank um, from yesterday that I glued up and uh, I put the wings on. So I'm gonna unclamp it and see what we've got. Okay, that's where I keep my clamps, by the way. So, there you go, body blank. It wants a scrape to get rid of the glue, bit of a sanding, but that's all right. So I'm gonna give it a scrape, give it a sand, and then I've got a nice, smooth, plain, flat guitar body blank to work with. I think I want to get the sander out on this. Yeah, I'm going to get the sander out on it. You're going to wear a dust mask when you're sanding. a bit of a sanding obviously not a final sanding it's just basically just to get all the glue and bits and bobs off it it's just i've got a nice clean thing to work on happy with that so i'm going to find the center of this which shouldn't be too difficult and then draw out the uh, shape of the guitar on it best way to find the center is use a center finding ruler zero in the middle so Dead easy to use. One of my most used tools ever is a center finding ruler. And just showing the center line there, as I'm sure you're aware in guitar making, center line is God. So center line there, center line there, center line down the middle of the template. So that is in place. So I'm gonna draw around it and maybe I'll cut it out. There we go, not too bad. I can see there were some issues with uh, my template when I cut it out, but that can all be fixed, so no problems. So I've cut a few pieces off. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is mark out where I want things and maybe route them before cutting any more. Just lining things up, so I've measured uh, the distance from the very end of the guitar up to the edge of the, the P90 pickup, and I've marked that here, which is 180 mil. So I'm just going to line this up on the center line and have that where that is. Going to mark that. I might route it out, maybe, but at least I can mark everything up today. All right. So, got the pickup marked out, got the neck pocket marked out. It's probably enough for today uh, because I've got to go and do dialysis. Oh, the joys. Oh, 
okay well i think that's it for today um so yeah quick recap so i've started cutting bits off just to make it a little bit easier for me to start lining things up um and i have drawn the pickup placement and the neck pocket out so next video will be unclamping the neck which is over there um maybe cutting some of that out um i will attempt to cut the rest of this out i think i'll probably cope with that um but that's it so as i said i'm gonna go and do dialysis now oh well the joys of it all eh but it's hot in here so it's probably time to finish because i will start getting dehydrated uh, but it's been fun made a bit of sawdust um and uh we'll see you on the next one which will be episode four Okay, cheers for watching and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks everyone.